Okay, so we got this cabinet in using the same. Hi, it's Mike, Family Deal ITV, and today we're gonna be hanging some wall cabinets. We're gonna have a custom range hood right in the center, and we're gonna have three cabinets on both sides, or three doors, actually two cabinets. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna establish a level line across the entire work area. Then we're gonna measure from that level line up. And we're gonna get our measurement on that side and on this side, okay? So that's our first step. We got two measurements. We got the measurement down there. We got 44 and 5 eighths and we got 45, okay? So what that tells me is that the actual ceiling kind of goes up, all right, in this corner. Easy way to remember what wall, where to start off, what side to start off from, because we have to consider the top of this. These cabinets are actually going to the ceiling with the crown molding detail at the top. We have to start small and we're gonna end big, okay? And this concept works also with base cabinets, okay? So if you would then measure down and you measure down over here and you got a shorter measurement on this side, that means you have to start on this side and work your way that way. The reason why that's important, if, you, if the ceiling goes like this and you started against the ceiling on this side, then you technically would run into the ceiling. Okay, so that's why you always wanna start small and big. Okay, so now we established what side we need to start off of. Okay, we obviously need to start that way, put an arrow on the wall. Next thing we need to determine is where's the bottom of the cabinet's gonna, gonna lie, okay? So we know we need to start from this side, so we're actually gonna do all the measuring from this side, so let's get over there. So our, in our case, our cabinets are 39 inches tall. Then we have a three inch trim at the top that is gonna basically butt up against the ceiling, okay? Okay, so to give us a little bit of wiggle room, we're gonna add an eighth of an inch, okay? So we're gonna do 39 plus three plus eighth inch. So that gets us, that gets us 39 and eighth plus 39, that gets us 42 and an eighth. What do we do with that number? So now we take that number and we, since we know we're gonna start from this side, we're gonna measure from the ceiling down 42 and one eighth. Now what we wanna do is take this 42 and 1 8 line and we wanna create a level line across the entire work area. Okay, so in my case, I'm using my laser. Um, I had to turn the lights off, but basically I have the laser level line lined up directly with our mark running all the way across the work area. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the straightest board that I have and I'm gonna mount it right underneath this line. This will give us a ledger board that we can put our cabinets on top of and make sure that they're perfectly level and in the same line. Okay, now that the board is set up, we can now turn our laser off and move on to the next step, which is going around and identifying all of our studs. Okay, we are also going to identify our center line. Okay, that was done as well. All right, so now we have our center line, we have all of our studs, and we know exactly where the bottom of the cabinets are gonna go, okay? Now, ideally I'd have a piece that goes all the way across, but, but honestly, as long as I have this here and this here to bridge the gap here, because there's not gonna be any cabinets here, this cabinet I could just build off of this one and make sure that the bottom is flat flat okay so we are now ready to start laying out the cabinets all right so let's talk cabinets so these are the cabinets here i got these from click studios okay it's an online retailer um, but they but really what they excel at is design okay that's why it's called click studios i believe um but they help you out with the design and i know you get designs other places but they're very unique the way that they do their designs it's very easy, they do it all remote. You can meet with them on Zoom or Teams or whatever you guys wanna meet on, on the phone, at your convenience, okay? You don't have to make an appointment and go to the store, have someone watch your kids, it's real nice. All right, so these are the cabinets that I got from them. This is more of like a shaker cabinet. All right, this is just the uppers, um, but everything so far has worked out very well. Um, these are full plywood cabinets. They also have like an MDF um, cabinet if you want a little bit of a lower end. I wouldn't say lower end, it's just a little bit less expensive if you're trying to save some money for some reason. Plywood box was important to me, okay? 
Um, but they'll work with you. If you say, I wanna, you know, my budget's a little less than that, what they can do is they could do some different things. One of the things they suggested is maybe doing the plywood boxes on the outside. So maybe the outside cabinets around the island, the outside cabinets on the uppers. So anything that might get hit. Okay, and then everything inside that's protected, do MDF. I'll tell you, I just ripped out a 35-ish year old kitchen that was a builder grade kitchen, piece of junk, but the cabinets were MDF, surprising, and they were still all really fine. The only ones I had an issue was around the sink where it had a leak. So that's another thing, maybe around the sink, you put uh, a plywood base. You never wanna put MDF there. The latest guy I worked with was awesome. Uh, he was the best person I worked with there. His name was Lucas. So if you're gonna reach out to Click Studios, ask for Lucas, tell him I sent you, Mike from Family DIY TV. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the door from these cabinets. But before that, we're going to put some blue tape and we're gonna basically mark each one so we put the, so we put the same door back on the same cabinet. Now put your doors, do I have something my nose? I don't know. All right, so now put your doors and your screws in a safe spot so that your door doesn't get damaged and your screws don't get lost. We have brought the cabinets, the two first cabinets and the range hood insert in the space just to kind of see how it feels, um, start getting some measurements. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna determine the center of this. So 35, and three quarters divided by two is 17 and seven eighths. So we're gonna make a mark. Let's double check, measure from both sides. Okay, so what we've done is we've put the mark, we've wrapped it around and we have the mark now in the center so that when we pick this up, we determine the height, we can line this up right on this center line that we already have and we can mount it up there. So now, so now we're gonna determine the height. Where do we have to mount this thing? We're gonna use the same three and one eighths that we used for the cabinets that we're gonna come off, this, off the top. Now this is custom. Three and one eighths plus the depth of the actual wood unit, which is 24 inches, okay? So if my math is correct, we wanna come down. We wanna come down 27 and one eighths, okay? This is where the bottom of that piece of metal has to be mounted to. Now I'm gonna pre-drill these. And the hardware I'm going to use to install these is gonna be these GRK one and a half inch screws, okay? They have a nice face to them. Uh, if I, I didn't realize this, I probably would have went to the store and bought maybe something that was had the same color coding. Uh, technically, I could always pull these out and replace them later. I'll have full access to it if I don't like the way they look. But for today, we're going to use these cabinet hanging screws. It's also going to be screwed into the cabinet from the side. Just hold it up on this. All right, so now the insert is installed. It's installed on our center line. So now we can start working our way this way and installing the cabinets. So now to hang the first cabinet off of here, what we want to do is we want to predetermine where we're going to put our screws. We're going to put three screws in this, okay? So what we need to do is then we need to know, well, where are our studs, okay? So if I measure off of here, I actually have a stud pack from here all the way to here. So I want to hit this around seven inches, okay? So seven inches. Okay, so let's remember the seven inches. We can't just come in here and measure seven inches over because we have to account for the depth of this plywood on the side, right? So just to figure that out, pretty simple math here. So the first thing we do is we go to the edge of the cabinet and we measure over, that's an inch and a half, okay? Then we need to remove this, this portion inside here. So that's three quarters of an inch, okay? So one and a half minus three quarters of an inch actually leaves us with three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that tells us that this plywood box is three quarters of an inch, okay? So then what we do is we take the seven inches here minus three quarters of an inch, which is gets us six and a quarter. We come in here, we make a mark at six and a quarter, okay? Then what I like to do is I like to use my laser. I put my laser level on like that, line it up with the mark. Now I could put a screw here, I could put a screw here, and I could put a screw here, and I'll pre-start uh, the screws. So that when we go to put this on the wall, 
We all gotta do is hold it up there and one person can pretty much do this. And this, this cabinet will be installed. So what screws are we gonna use? Um, Click Studios actually supplies you. Okay, these are the screws they supply. So you can use these cabinets. I use these on the bases because you don't really see them. And I prefer to use these GRK uh, fasteners on the uppers because you may see them and I just like them a little bit better. The nice thing about this is um, they have a nice wide face on them. They're also very easy to drive and they come in kind of this brass color, which I think goes better with this. You don't see it. We're gonna use two and a half inch screws made by GRK. So we're gonna get screwing. Right, so this is our, we're putting four in this cabinet. Now just, now remember, this is gonna be attached to here. It's also gonna be attached to another two cabinets on the side. So this thing's gonna be well attached to the wall. I also come in at the end and I drive a screw in the top of this just to be extra, extra secure. But that gets done at the end. So now we're gonna get this thing up on the wall. Okay, so we got this cabinet in using the same. All right, so, <laughs> hey, that'll wake you up. All right, so we got this cabinet in um, using the same technique that we did with this cabinet, okay? Nothing different. Now what we did is we dry fit the hood in, okay? So we can see it fits in. All right, so now we're gonna move on to installing this cabinet, okay? So we're gonna use our light drill and we're gonna use this one that we installed perfectly in the same line, plumb, wood level with that one, whatever you wanna call it, in the same plane as that one. We're now just gonna move this down and push this up against the bottom of this and screw it in. All right, so we got the cabinet up uh, resting on top of our ledge, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna just screw in a few screws and then what we'll do is we'll start to face, we'll clamp these and kind of finish the install. We're constantly checking for level and we're gonna be checking for plumb here. And now these are the clamps we're gonna use to do the face, the face, to screw the faces together. The, the thing I like about these is it pulls the cabinets together this way and it also pulls the cabinets together this way, okay? So it's a, like a two-way clamp, as you can see. It's got two points of clampage, if that's a word. Then it's got this nice uh, feature here. So this allows you to drill the pilot hole, okay? And it's self-centering. And then what you do is you move that out of the way, and then you can drill your countersink hole, okay? Then you can add your screw, and the screw actually fits through this. So I really like these. It makes the job really, really nice and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so we basically, we don't want to use this to actually move the cabinets. We want to move the cabinets and then use this to hold it where we put it, okay? If you start trying to clamp it and move it and manipulate it with these, you're going to mess the cabinets up. You don't want to do that. So what we do is we kind of manipulate. You can do small manipulations after you get it together. You can see actually there's a little bit of a lip here. So I need to move this up a little bit. All right, so we have it clamped up. We're using both types of clamps. You can see this, this face is perfect. Can't really get any better than that. So for this process, I set up just three drills, so I'm not moving around with different uh, bits. So I first start with this one. This is a 764 bit. This is our pilot hole for the screw. The screw we are using is the GRK, two and a half inch screw, and I get the ones that are painted white because this is white and it's gonna be hidden. And I use this. I don't have a countersink, so what I do is I draw a line on this drill bit, and this is used to countersink, add like a little bit of a, of a hole or an indent for this to be countersunk, okay, so that it's flat. So this is the second one we use. Then this is the third one to drive the screw through. All right, so let's see how this goes. So you can see this little, little door here, so we're gonna close it and make sure it's centered, okay, in there. It actually, it's dust kind of self-center itself. Then we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our pilot drill bit. We're gonna make sure that we're not gonna go all the way through the cabinet. You can see that's perfect, okay? Even if I go in a little bit. And then we're gonna take our drill bit and we're gonna make sure we're scroll, drill straight in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down on this drill bit. And if you look on a lot of these drills, I think they do this on purpose. This is kind of like a guide. This is a guide and this is a guide. So if I line, like let's say for example, I line this, these four corners up with this piece of wood here. 
I know I'm going in straight. And the same thing if it's on, on the other side. So if I line these up with a piece of wood that I'm drilling into, I know that I'm drilling straight, okay? So depending on how I'm holding the saw, I'm sorry, the drill, I'm gonna look at those guides just to make sure that I'm going in straight. Drill two. Like I said, I'm gonna use that mark that I made and once that meets that edge there, then I know I am done drilling. Last one. Go. Now we're just gonna rinse and repeat. For this cabinet, this is a 39 inch tall. We're gonna do three. One up here, one down here, one right in the middle, okay? To hang this, you can see we did nine screws. All right, so now we're gonna run these, we wanna run all these nine screws home. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check that everything is flat, okay? That all of our faces are on the same plane. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run, we're gonna look around the perimeter. And in our case, our wall is a little wanky out. So see there's a bulge there. So just so that we don't pull this out, we're gonna run some shims in here. And what I like to do is before I run the shims in, I have run a little glue on them. Now we're just gonna run all these, run all these screws in. All right, so one of the last steps is uh, installing the doors. All right, so we're just putting the doors back on. All right, so we got our four holes drilled. You can see them here, okay? And with our, we have our countersunk spots as well. So now what we're gonna do um, is go over the hardware that we need to mount this. So we're gonna use the same screws that we used to face screw these cabinets together. So these are GRK two and a half inch screws. I get the white ones. Um, so that'll be nice and hidden in there. All right, and this is gonna go through and into here. So once we get this up there, we're gonna clamp it in, in place and then we'll drill a pilot hole in them and then we'll run these screws, screws right through. All right, so now the next step is to actually get this thing up there. So, all right, so now that it's in place, we're basically gonna flush up these faces right here, clamp it together, and screw it in. All right, so now our four screws are in. It's actually attached. Now all we gotta do is add two more screws on the inside underneath here to attach this metal to the wood. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on here because I don't want to drill through this, but I need to put a pile hole. That's scary. Okay. Oh, I came through the other side. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's the hood. That's how you install the hood. That's how you install cabinets. Check out clickstudios.com. They supplied all this. I'm Mike, Family Do ITV. I don't know why I'm yelling, but I'm out.